Hello everyone, I'm Supta. I'm currently aspiring to explore opportunities abroad in countries like Canada and US. I'm hoping to look for better growth and career opportunities while I do this. So the reason I took up IELTS is because it offers me an option to choose between a computer-based exam or a paper-based and you can choose the one that best suits your needs. I chose the computer-based option because it allows you to have a look at the word count in the writing section and it also allows you easy navigation in sections such as reading. And also going ahead, talking about the whole process of booking for the exam has been extremely smooth. You can book and register for the exam at the click of a button. It, has, uh, it also allows you to choose from various test centers that are easily accessible to you uh, and you can choose the one which is closest to your home. Uh, so with this I would want to say that uh, I, I scored a band of 8 in IELTS and uh, this constituted 9 in listening, 8 in reading, 8 in speaking and 7.5 in writing. Uh, I would say that uh, some of the tips that helped me to get the score was especially in the listening section it's extremely important for you to concentrate while the uh, session is going on because it will not be repeated and it will be said only once. Do not get distracted by the team members around you who, whose pen might drop or paper might drop and do not ensure that there is absolute concentration. Another thing that really helped me was to read the questions ahead of time so that when the passage was playing, I don't have to look for the answers in the questions. This really helped me to score 9 in listening. With respect to writing and uh, speaking, one thing that I really practiced was synonyms and paraphrasing. That is, try not to repeat the same words over and over again. Show the examiner that you have a variety in vocabulary and show that you have a confident hold on the language. Another thing that really boosted my score, I feel, is uh, especially in the speaking part where you talk to the invigilator like he's a friend and it is not a SA pattern that you need to speak in. This has really helped me boost my score. At last, I would uh, like to offer my advice to all the fellow candidates when I feel the most important game is the game of confidence. I feel that one should prepare well for IELTS like any other exam and not take the exam lightly. Please ensure that you have sufficient time left at the end. Spare 5 to 10 minutes at the end of every section which allows you to recheck your answers for spellings for uh, checking if you have achieved the task in the question, whether your answer suits the question and also uh, try to take as much as mock tests before you enter an exam so that you are aware of the pattern of the paper and you know what to expect.